So yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is unbox this. It has nothing to do with the Mac. I don't care, it just came in. So you get to see it. I also figured out that while my voice is pretty bad today, I can uh, I can sound a lot more like uh, Metalocalypse or something, like just growling. If any of you have ever seen Metalocalypse or listened to any really heavy metal at all, really, uh, you know what I mean. Do you suppose that uh, they purchase big boxes like this from big box stores? Har, 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 har. <coughs> Look, there is no good way to do this. Who designs this crap? I swear to God. Hell yeah, it's got a bag too? Are you kidding me? It comes with a bag? That I just put upside down like an idiot? Of course. Alright, nothing else in the box. Make the box go away. And the box is like, I shall live to find another day, sir. Ooh, what do we have here? My YouTube app crashed on my phone. That's great. <coughs> Sorry, my voice will get up to par. It'll take a minute, but I'll get there. So, um... On my phone, YouTube says that there is one person in this stream. And I am in this stream, technically. So YouTube is telling me that I am the only person watching me. How did they seal this up? Oh. We'll get to the Mac in a minute. I really want to get this open. Okay, here it is. Now it says there's two people here. Tape. <clears throat> Is there anyone actually watching right now? Let me know. I'd love to know. Hey, my voice is getting better as I talk more. Oh God, you're watching me. Well, let me tell you why I don't just rip things open. If something is bad, I have to ship it back. And I like to ship things back in the condition that I received them. Not just like, hey, let's chuck it in a box. Because if I'm going to get a refund, I'm going to get my damn refund. I'm not going to lose it because I ripped a plastic bag apart. All right. There's supposed to be a uh, Chinese slave child from the black market in here. Just pour on water and... They grow like a sponge in the bath. I'm kidding, obviously. Look, that's a lens hood. That's just a lens hood. So look, <clears throat> if you guys do not want to watch me unbox this camcorder and plug it up and crap, just let me know and I'll stop and I'll get to the Mac. But if you want to see me put together a pro camcorder from 20 years ago, I'll just continue. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god, a real remote control. An eye cup. And there it is. All the money was spent on that. Everything is plastic. I swear.
Yes, it is. I mean, technically, I took the bag out of a box. So, it's an unboxing. If we really want to be technical, the box did come first. There we go. Look at that. There, what the... F there is a penny. You see that, right? This, this pro camcorder, I got a penny off the price. There's also some convincing uh, leaves and crunchy stuff in there, so. Yay, I made money. Let's put the bag down out of my way, maybe. It's a heavy bag. Hello. <clears throat> this is a big boy. I do wonder why they sent it with all this stuff disassembled. It, it seems kind of odd. All right, this has an up arrow, but see, I've not actually put one of these together, so I am not sure what I need to do with this. Now, I can't see out of one of my eyes, so, well, I can, but I, I have a dominant eye. There was a movie dealing with that back in like the 80s, I think. There we go. There's the viewfinder. It's looking a little rubbery. Look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like a child. I'm probably going to need to get a lens cap for it. I don't think it came with a lens cap. All right. Come on. You have my permission to go on there. I will allow it. Yeah, it's like a break. Uh, that penny's just a boring penny. It doesn't matter. I promise. Yep, there is... It's weird that it has that to lock it on, but I think I'm happy about that. Okay. This is a classic mini DV camcorder, so necessarily it takes many pieces of plastic falling out. It takes these cute little mini DV tapes. This one's brand new. Still sealed. Oh, that's a cleaning tape. Okay, that's why. See, I didn't actually look any of this over. I just sort of went, hey, a box arrived right when the stream started. This looks like an original battery, so it probably doesn't last very long. There's a charger. And this is the remote. This, these, Look, no app. See, that's one of the nice things about old equipment is that you get real remotes and not apps. So if I want to control the camera, I can do it with this. I don't have to use a stupid smartphone app. And what do you do when you have two pieces of equipment that both need a smartphone app? Well, now you need two phones, right? A bit of a pain in the ass, I would say. So anyway, put the battery right there. Tape will go there. Yep. That's focus there. I think. This is the zoom here. There's a break on it looks like you can lock the zoom that way but the reason one of the reasons ew, that needs to be clean dude what the hell one of the reasons I got this camcorder I'll clean it properly later is you see this zoom wheel right here so I have this zoom wheel let me get it to where it focuses a little better this zoom wheel you can pop zoom so you can go to zoom in and out really really fast and because it's a big fat camcorder, you put it on a big fat tripod and you just spin that around real fast and it'll go. Nice and easy. Okay. All right. Huh, what's a cassette tape? It also it has a weird release. It also has one of these screens. So there you go. Okay, so this is the most confusing piece of equipment that a younger person would ever see. This is a neutral density filter switch. You know, there's all kinds of cool stuff on these things. But anyway, all right. And it can take proper microphone inputs, you know, 
phantom and all that, whatever. All right, I'm gonna put this away. I need to go find a lens cap. 72 millimeter, I probably already have one.